Welcome to Real Recap, where we break down the latest and greatest movies. If you're looking for quick recaps, reviews, and commentary on the films you love, you've come to the right place. From action-packed blockbusters to heartfelt indie dramas, we cover it all. So sit back, relax, and join us as we dive into the world of cinema. Alone in a dark room in London, a heavily wounded Cole is recording his experience with the recent zombie apocalypse. He explains that he's destroyed dozens of lives for the Engine Pharmaceutical Company and proceeds to share the whole story, which started two months ago. Company director Mr. White announces RAK-295, a performance-enhancing medicine that can help people deal with everyday stress. 30,000 volunteers, including Angela, participate in the initial trial program, and White assures the media that they aren't worried about negative side effects. However a month later, the last stage of the testing goes horribly wrong, all the volunteers experience extreme side effects like high fever, vomiting, and internal bleeding. Cole can only watch in shock how the test subjects scream in agonizing pain. While reviewing the subject files, the scientists realize Angela has never returned for a checkup, meaning she may not be having the symptoms. Cole must find her immediately since she could be the key to finding a cure. Meanwhile, Angela's husband Joe is released from jail over lack of evidence, but his reputation's already destroyed by the press. His friend Steve comes to pick him up and Joe accepts to stay at his mechanic shop for now. Back to Cole, he and his co-worker Billing go to Angela's flat, but it's empty. The landlord comes in when he hears them, and the duo immediately begins beating him up until he confesses Angela left two months ago. The beating doesn't stop, but it seems the landlord has nothing more to offer. Hearing Billing go through all this violence makes Cole have flashbacks to all people he's killed while working for the company so he finally asks his partner to stop. In the meantime, Angela is hiding with her brother Matt and her friend Kate, unaware that another company agent is spying on them from afar. She wishes to see Joe and get the full story, but Kate and Matt think it's a bad idea. Afterward, Matt leaves for work at the police station, where he learns about some riots going on downtown. He also hears about a co-worker has been attacked on her way here and now she's fainted, but Matt leaves to see the riots. At NGEN, Cole and Billing report what they've found so far. Cole reminds White that he's quitting at the end of the month because he can't do this anymore, but White just changes the subject. While discussing their next move, they get a message from the agent that knows about Angela being at Matt's, but the recording suddenly changes into a lot of people screaming, so they can't get the details. Afterward, they go to check on the first test subject, who got an allergic reaction one week after receiving the initial dose. Two days later, the subject's body and his cellular makeup changed. At that moment the patient begins convulsing, and at the same time the power goes out, the patient gets up and begins attacking everyone in the room with outstanding speed. As the guy jumps on any person he can grab, the guards try to shoot him, but in the struggle, the doctor gets shot instead. The patient, now a full zombie, kills most of the crew by biting them to death. When he attacks Cole, he responds shooting it until he runs out of bullets. For a second they think it's over, but suddenly the zombie wakes up and bites Cole's hand. Cole hits him back with his gun, but now another crew member has become a zombie too and starts another attack that knocks Cole out. Back to Matt, he and co-worker Jim are tying their boat at a dock when they see an explosion from a nearby building. They call the station to report a request for backup, but they get no response. Suddenly, their boss shows up and steals the boat to escape without them. The duo returns to the station to find out what's going on, only to discover they're the only ones left in a building covered in blood and bodies. The monitors reveal that the city has descended into chaos and the zombie apocalypse is here. Meanwhile, Angela finally convinces Kate to let her leave the house, only to come across a group of cops and paramedics trying to capture a zombie, resulting in an officer getting bitten. The women go back inside and see the news covering the chaos that has taken over the city. Angela gets a message from Matt, asking them to meet him at a specific address because he got in contact with a friend that will fly them out in a helicopter, which can only accommodate for passengers including the pilot. Moments later, Cole wakes up, wounded but alive, and he helps the only remaining scientist trapped under a cabinet. They look right outside the door and notice that the director has been infected as well, in fact, he's pushing at the door trying to get in. Cole notices his own wound and the scientist gives him three injections of a viral suppressant, which can control the infection for only 18 hours. Then they leave the room, only for Billing to kill the scientist because he thought he was a zombie too. Billing notices Cole is infected and intends to kill him too, but Cole shoots him first, making him have more flashbacks. Afterward, Cole tries to leave, but his body makes him fall in pain as the virus starts transforming him. Cole immediately injects himself and keeps going. When he reaches the first floor, Cole finds a bunch of zombies attacking employees, so he quickly shoots them all as he makes his to the parking lot. This area is also full of enemies that chase him among the cars, only stopping when random drivers come by to feed on them too. 
These zombies are very fast and athletic, but after lots of running, Cole manages to get a car and escape with the horde chasing after him. Meanwhile, Angela and Kate leave in their car to meet with Matt. Cole arrives right then but he doesn't catch them in time, however, he enters the house and finds the map they left behind together with the car's plate number. Back to Joe, he and Steve see on TV that a state of emergency has been declared in the UK. Joe wants to go looking for Angela, but Steve assures him that she's probably safer somewhere else. On the streets, Angela and Kate get stuck in traffic because everyone is trying to escape. At that moment, the zombies arrive at this area too and everyone begins to run away on foot. Desperate to escape, the women hit a couple of cars with their own and get away from the jam by driving around it, this gives Cole the chance to follow them more easily. Unfortunately, a police zombie sees Cole and jumps on top of his car, but Cole quickly shoots him in the chest. This isn't enough to stop him, and the zombie soon retaliates by breaking into the vehicle through the passenger window to attack Cole, who responds by trying to choke him. The zombie refuses to die and forces Cole to leave his car behind, stealing a taxi instead. As he leaves the city, Cole sees zombies attacking citizens everywhere. Unfortunately, a few moments later, the car runs out of gas. Now Cole finds himself surrounded by a zombie horde, so he quickly runs toward the forest, where he manages to hide for a while. Meanwhile, Angela and Karen's car starts malfunctioning, so they stop by Steve's shop and are surprised to find Joe there too. Joe's hurt by the fact Angela is giving him the cold shoulder, and the women are frustrated to hear their car can't be fixed. Angela comments they have to find Matt and the helicopter, but Joe wants everyone to stay because it's too risky to go outside, triggering an argument. At that moment, someone begins shaking the door. Everyone hides while Joe opens it carefully, only for Lavinia and Jeffrey to rush inside to hide. Soon the zombie that had been chasing them breaks down the door, but Steve quickly shoots him and beats him up for extra measure. Lavinia and Jeffrey tell them they need to leave quickly because everyone is abandoning the city and there's no hope for survival here, but this may be a problem because the helicopter can't carry them all. While the group blocks the broken door, Cole arrives at the shop too, but he begins feeling pain again and he's forced to get the second injection. Then Cole makes his way inside just in time for the zombies to break in as well. Cole asks everyone to stay hidden while he and Steve fight the zombies, starting a vicious fight that has them beating up zombies violently until there are none left. Unfortunately during the struggle, Jeffrey gets his hand bitten. Meanwhile, Matt and Jim wander around the station and find zombified co-workers, so they begin running away. The zombies follow them and manage to Jim, but the duo manages to get out and jump on another boat and go away. The zombies don't follow them, meaning they're afraid of water. Jimmy asks Matt to get rid of him before it's too late, but Matt refuses to betray a friend. Back at the mechanic shop, Cole cuts Jeffrey's bitten finger off to stop the infection. Then he decides that the helicopter could do multiple trips to take everyone away. Joe doesn't like the idea because the pilot may not come back, and he prefers to leave in a van with Angela instead. Cole refuses, triggering another argument. Angela steps away from their anger and Cole goes after her to show her his company ID, telling her she's the only one could that can stop the outbreak. Angela's very upset by the idea of becoming a lab rat so she goes to another room to think, soon Joe follows her to calm her down. Angela tells him about the possible cure and confesses that she's pregnant and that she wants to keep it, and Joe promises his fatherly support, then the two finally reconcile. All this is overhead by Cole on the other side of the door, making him have flashbacks to the time he had to kill a pregnant woman just because it was an order. Afterward, Cole announces they're leaving in Steve's van. While they get ready, Joe tells Cole that he won't let his wife and kid become lab rats. At that moment the zombie horde breaks in, so Lavinia and Jeffrey take Kate hostage to get to the helicopter first. The zombies break into the shop and Cole begins fighting them, killing them with an axe and his gun while Angela and Joe take the van and the rest of the group runs away. When he finds himself surrounded, Cole shoots a fuel drum filled with gas to make it explode. Unfortunately, more zombies keep coming and Cole has to escape on a bike. Meanwhile, Matt and Jim manage to arrive at the meeting location, but Matt has to leave Jim on the boat because he is starting to turn. Then he rushes to the helicopter, only to find blood everywhere and the cockpit empty. Matt contacts the base from the helicopter and learns he has 12 hours to reach the evacuation side. Suddenly he's attacked by Jim, who has become a zombie too. Matt can't bring himself to hurt him and runs away instead, staying hidden until Jim goes away. While the group is looking for a new hiding place, they're suddenly attacked by a bunch of zombies. Jeffrey and Lavinia immediately hide inside a building, and in the struggle, Steve gets bitten. Kate begs the couple to let her in, and while Lavinia refuses, Jeffrey feels bad and opens the door. As Kate slaps them and calls them out for their behavior, Joe and Angela arrive too, and Joe is devastated to find his friend dying. Soon Cole also arrives and Joe confronts him with a knife, but Cole looks at Joe in the eyes and can tell he'd never kill anyone. 
Then Cole lends Joe his gun so he can give it to Steve, saying goodbye before Steve ends things for himself to avoid the transformation. Afterward, Cole takes the group away in a van, but they barely drive for a few miles before Angela asks Cole to stop because she's changed her mind. Cole tries to remind her she's humanity's only hope, but at that moment, another horde of zombies shows up. Cole speeds up to get away from them, but the area is a mess of debris and the van crashes. Joe takes the chance to steal Cole's gun before the group leaves the vehicle, but Kate can't because she has a rod stuck in her neck. When the horde catches up to the van, they immediately jump on her to feed. Afterward, Joe aims the gun at Cole saying Angela's coming with him, but Kate's death has inspired Angela and she decides to go to the scientists after all. Then Cole knocks Joe out and carries him on his shoulders. Eventually, they reach the helicopter site and discover the pilot is gone, not to mention the blood. They reunite with Matt and he explains the zombies are scared of water, so they could get away on his boat. As they make their way to the river, Jeffrey's finger infection finally begins turning him into a zombie too. The group wants to kill him, but Lavinia takes Angela as her hostage, asking Cole to help her husband. However Joe hits her from behind to save Angela, then Cole stays behind to shoot her in the leg so she can't follow them the shot is heard by the horde, who immediately goes after the couple and feeds on them. The remaining group makes it to the river but at that moment Jim jumps on Matt. Joe immediately pushes the zombie away and begins fighting him, managing to knock Jim out after lots of struggle. Unfortunately, Joe gets bitten too, so he tells the siblings to leave without him. Angela says goodbye to her husband with a kiss, then she and Matt safely leave on the boat. Afterward, Cole and Joe jump back into the fight. A horde immediately comes after them and they try their best to fight them off, but Joe is in pain because of the transformation and is killed soon. Cole manages to push away enough zombies to hide inside a building, bringing the story back to the beginning. He finishes his tale and decides not to use the last injection as punishment for the chaos he helped to create. Then he grabs a chainsaw and goes back outside to go down as a hero fighting zombies until the cure is found. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more.